This is Michael Bazzelli. I'm Lonnie, the theater lady, and our topic for this evening is sex with strangers at the city theater. Oh, yes. Uh, sex with strangers is the title of the play. Oh, I wasn't clear on that. Okay. Oh my. Uh, written by Ethan. Um, Laura Ethan. Laura Ethan. Yes, correct. Who also oh. writes for House of Cards. She's a screenwriter too. Oh wow. The story is about two writers as uh, who get stranded in a writer's retreat due to a snowstorm right in a very oh lovely set by tony ferrari of by course the way. right they it's should snowing in the background tony ferrari set museum i would go there and hang out have like magicians in one and jugglers and serve <laughs> drinks i mean i just want to be wherever his sets are that he makes i want to be there they're they're fa- they are beautiful uh so they go to the writer's retreat uh they do not like each other at first but they seem to be envious of each other's career paths. And what's interesting about their relationship is that he's a 20-something young man, um, <laughs> and she's a mm, 40-ish. I think just more turning mature, 40 or having mature, a significant birthday, because you yeah. mentioned a significant birthday. Yeah, a woman. And so their uh, electricity, I thought they had great chemistry together. Oh, that yes. was Megan Byrne. Right, and Nick Ducasi. And Nick Ducasi was the male lead. And mm-hmm. I thought uh, Nick Ducasi played his role with such charm and Verve. charisma yes. and energy. He was just so likable, even though he had a lot of foibles. Right. And Megan Byrne, the same. She played her role, Olivia, with mm-hmm. such a sweet vulnerability and innocence. Uh, that kind of belied her age, but yet they were both such likable characters. They were really well drawn characters. Yes, I think. not only the way they were written, but the way they performed. Right. Them. Yeah, they I did. think the, they the actors captured the nuances of the the actual characters. The characters. Yes. Uh, uh, they it, were you both wanted to likable. believe you wanted to believe that they were those people at a certain point. The, yeah. Uh, really fun. It takes some strange twists. Uh, it's. I always think, I always wonder if this for other people. It was a writer writing about writing. I always wonder if that's too difficult. Like, if, because it's, for me, it's cool. Because you're a writer. Yeah, but I always wonder if that's a little too dense for, like, regular audiences or too boring. I didn't, I didn't find it to be so. Like, of I course, I'm superior in intelligence. Oh, okay. But, but no, I don't I know if I'd want to go see, like, a play about plumbers, you know, talking about plumbing stuff. But no, this was, I thought it was very interesting. And I got a little bit of insight into what it really takes to be a writer. And I found it very interesting. I liked that part of it. Because it was, at times, the, so funny and so sharp. The oh, sharp dialogue and the wit was mm. so wonderful. But yet there was an intelligent side to it, oh, too. Yeah. And in Act 2, we got into a lot of really emotional um, looks into their relationship. But... I thought it was a nice balance between intellectual and really funny. Yes, yes. You know, I would like to say that, like, um, Sex with Strangers, Eason's work here today was witty, sharp, and enjoyable. I think so, too. Yeah. And I I imagine the Fun night out. Like, all Sex with Strangers, it's a fun night out. Hey, on that note... Yes? I know somebody that wasn't going to have sex with strangers last night. Whoa. Or sex probably even with her significant other. Did you smell the cologne on that woman next to me? Oh my When you go to the theater, it's okay. Use a little light, lightly scented fragrance body lotion. Do not dump a bottle of cologne or perfume over your head. My eyes were watering, my nose was running, my, my teeth were hurting. It was just like, I couldn't breathe. I looked for a gas mask at intermission. Did you, you didn't no, smell her? No. All right, well, keep that in mind, folks. Don't do that. That's how we're ending this?